Hi everyone. Live Studio has been out for a few weeks now, so I want to do a quick video to highlight some of the new features and also the main benefits and how you can use Live View Golf in your practice routine. Of course, one of the biggest benefits is what we call digital mirroring. So as you can see, I can watch myself and as I'm practicing and rehearsing, I do this practicing, learning by doing. And um, as I'm doing it, I can watch myself. And of course, I can see immediately if my, how my body is moving, how my club is moving. For example, um, if I'm one of these inside takeaway guys, I've got the camera set up and I can immediately tell if I'm coming in low. Right? And as I do this, I realize I need to make this correction so I can bring it up more. And in fact, I can just practice the proper path. Um, that's the main use of the Live View Golf camera. Now, um, we've added a lot of features. Of course, um, one of my favorite features is the instant replay. I can turn on a microphone on my iPad and use this as a sound trigger. So I can just do my practice swing. And it'll automatically record the swing and then play it back for me in slow motion. So this way I can just hit a ball and see what the result was. See if I need to make any changes and then go right back and hit the next shot. One of the more technical features that we offer so let's do that. So let's do that again and really feel like I'm getting that turn, that width. So this is a good way to demonstrate one of the more technical features that we offer. Um, in Live View Studio, you have the ability to pause your video and actually draw directly into the replay. So in this case, I'm just going to draw a basic swing plane going from the hosel straight through the club. And as I'm playing back the video, I want to see if I'm staying on plane or if I'm coming under it. And so this looks pretty good. There's usually, um, in this particular case, I'm going for a two plane swing plane. So I'm drawing a green line through the shoulder and I just kind of want to stay in that wedge. Uh, that's my goal. I'm a little bit outside the wedge on the back swing but coming down nicely on plane on the downswing. And um, what makes Live View really powerful is once I've done this analysis, now if I go back into live mode, now those sa same lines are there for me to practice against. So now as I see this, um, I did an analysis, I do in my lines, but now as you can see, the same lines are still there for my, my practice and I can now rehearse against those lines to really make sure that I'm staying in that wedge instead of going outside the wedge or inside the wedge. And this is something I can do in real time. Again, we call it practice by doing. So I can really install the new feel to figure out what I have to do in order to, to stay inside my target swing parameters. And then because this is still using automatic recording, I can take a couple of rehearsals, try and figure out what it feels like to, to get into that slot. Then when I'm ready, I can try and hit a ball and then watch again with those same analysis lines from earlier. I don't have to redraw them. They're still there. And I can check myself to see if I'm getting inside that wedge. Do that one more time. So it plays it back automatically. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to touch the screen. It's just playing and then it's ready for my next swing. And these lines are there and they'll stay there through any subsequent recording that I do.
One of the biggest additions in LiveView Studio is the addition of a content library. Now, in order to access the content library, you need to create a profile first. So you need to create in your login and your password. But once you have that, if you go to content, you now see this thing called downloadable content. Um, now, in order to access this, you actually need to be online. So you cannot do this while you connect to the camera. I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi network right now. But from here, you see that if I open this, it gives me a list of things that I can do. So for example, there are some, there's some Academy content up here. Um, there's some swings. If you want to download a swing and kind of take a look at uh, what a certain um, swing looks like, you can download swings and import them and compare them against what you're doing. Um, these swings actually have some templates built in in terms of showing a setup, what you're doing with your head, uh, and they have the ability to add these stop positions where um, you can compare yourself at specific positions of the swing to make sure you look the same. Um, but one of the most powerful features is what we call guided mirroring. So for example, here we have a video lesson. Um, Hello Revolution Golfers, Martin Hall coming to you from the magnificent club at Ibis. One of the things I love to get people to do in the downswing, it's a hallmark of all great players, is to shift and rotate before they swing the club. Shift and rotate the lower body before they swing the club. All the world's best players do that. They always have done and they always will. There's a shift. There's a shift to start. Then there's a rotate and then there's a swing. I can see I'm shifting. Where's my right elbow? Where are my hips? I shift, I rotate, and I go past impact, and I see that my body keeps rotating. And it's really wonderful practice. Learning is all about number of correct repetitions. And having had a few practice swings that way, then you can just go ahead, try and recapture that same feeling as you hit the ball. This time I'm not going to watch the iPad, but I'm going to remember that feel that I've just installed and see if I can shift and rotate before I swing. Shift and rotate before I swing. And I certainly did, and I wish they were all like that. Shift and rotate before I swing. So having seen this lesson, you can actually now download a um, little snippet that allows you to do what we call guided mirroring. So you can actually watch Martin do the shift and rotate. Uh, in this particular case, I have the down the line view. And I'm going to just um, download that and import that. So now that I've downloaded and imported this, I'm actually going to go back and reconnect to my Live View Golf camera. and exit the downloadable content. But as you can see now, this little video from Martin is showing up in my reference content. And one of the wonderful things about Live View is that now that we have our live swing, um, I can pull in this guided mirroring and I can bring in Martin and now, as I'm practicing myself, I can actually watch him do the same thing. And so now, practicing becomes very, very visual. And all I have to do is kind of try to copy and try to achieve the same look as what Martin's doing. And as you can t tell, as I'm doing this, I'm already starting to see some differences in how, how the club's moving how he looks coming in, how I look coming in. And, you know, there's really not a lot of explanation necessary. I'm just kind of watching and trying to copy the same move and just trying to get myself to look like him. And just that act of visually learning. You can see if I do this, the club moves very, very different than Martin. This is too much, this is too under comes in nicely on plane as long as you can create that same look 
That's what you need to do in order to execute this transition for better ball striking. And we found that this digital mirroring is very, very powerful because it allows you to learn without having to worry about technical things. It's just a purely visual process and it uses the most simple method that we have in terms of learning new things by just watching and copying somebody. But because you can see yourself at the same time that this copying is happening, you start making a lot of adjustments all at the same time without anybody having to tell you the details about what needs to change. So we can actually do this with a ball and our instant replay trigger. And then in the instant replay, it'll actually play back that video at the same time so we can compare how close we match the targeted movement. Um, there's, there's some additional features in the video playback that are kind of important. So if I want to take a look at this video, I can actually pull this video up and I now have the ability to compare videos. So I can actually download, um, go into my downloaded videos, I can either compare uh, a previous swing that I've done, maybe from a week ago, and compare how these two are different. Or the other thing I can do is I can pull in a pro style video. So here I've got Rory McElroy and compare myself against Rory to see how his swing differs from my swing. Obviously a lot more lag than I do and more powerful transition coming through. So these are some of the new tools available in LV Studio that'll help you practice more effectively and learn faster.